stricken and exhausted Trapped in my room while the house was burning to the motherfucking ground Service station.
Go. <coughs> One, two, three, four. Yeah. <laughs> Me. I'm in the game. Why am I so Okay, I have to sit up real straight to be in this frame, so if I slouch at all you guys will know because I'll be way down. So let's uh let's get into this. <coughs> Getting my voice in order. <clears throat> so June 16th, eleven seventeen. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number Two. Trucy, Trucy. Oh yeah, a voice I don't know. Oh, you move quick, Apollo. Good show, good show. Oh, Freya, it's Trucy. Trucy, you're okay. I thought. Sniff, saw ball, crying noise. Uh, oh, I don't have Katie to do Trucy anymore. This is terrible. Okay. Well, don't cry, Apollo. Oh, thank God. Ah, girl, those good for nothing gangsters. There's no. Th there are some things. <laughs> there are some things you just don't do. I'm pressing charges. Wait, just calm down, Apollo. Oh God, someone's knocking on the window. <laughs> These are the worst. All right. Oh no, it's cost his dad. Okay, gotta deal with this. This is great. I'm just gonna leave this like that. No, of course not. I wouldn't get the door for cops. Remember, you told me not to, Mom. Right? Never trust the cops. Perfect. I never do. Never. Okay. <laughs> or else! Right? Perfect. Oh. <gasps> what the heck is that? Surprise! This is one of my best tricks, the amazing Mr. Hat! Oh, oh, you look marvelous, darling. Oh, I like the voice for that. That one already works perfectly. He's a big hit on stage at the Wonder Bar! Yes, I'm a big hit. <laughs> this guy kills it. Well, what do you think? Do you like it? You mean you, Trucy? There are, are some things you just don't do! Press your charges. Tupolo, now's not the time to be threatening me. It's you who's been threat being threatened here. Huh? Remember what you said to the walkie's father yesterday? You promised you'd save his son. But that testimony we was rock solid. What are you suggesting I do? <laughs> I'm a kid. <laughs> Look, once the judge declares a verdict, it's all over. If I could use my talent to stop that from happening, I will. Oh, this kid is so hard to do. You know when your mouth is dry and it's hard to say um, words? <sighs> la la. Okay. Juicy, no more stage abductions, please. I'm not talking about magic, Apollo. I know... I know when a witness isn't confident, I can perceive what he's feeling. It might not mean anything, but it's all we've got. Mm. You can see what he's feeling. 
Think back, Apollo. Think back to the times when there was a contradiction in his testimony all the times. All the times there was contradiction in his thing. Uh, uh, actually, I don't remember him exactly. Oh, good thing I do! <laughs> yeah, I'm a kid, wow! Okay, good, perfect. There were two times when he made statement he wasn't confident in, and each time there was a contradiction. Oh my god. Oh, I don't have one for Stickler. How does Jared sound? Hey, I'm Jared. Meh, see, I'm Jared. Meh. That's how he sounds, right? Ram, Jared, you see, I'm rich. Ram. Okay. So. I think this is the voice I, that the stickler will go. <laughs> Mobster Jared. Ram, see? I'm, I'm rich. My name's Jared, see? Okay. Actually, he's too fancy. He's a fancy boy. Ooh. I'm a fancy. Yeah. This is how I imagine Twinkle the cat would talk. Ooh, I'm a big fluffy cat. Oh, I'm a fancy cat boy. Ooh, I like to get fed and then you could pet my belly. Man, remember petting Twinkle's belly? That was some good belly rubs. Anywho, that's how he talks. Oh, my name is Twinkle, yeah. <laughs> but he's also German now? But anyways. This is he this guy is not German. He has to be fancy. From Britain or something? Like, <laughs> like what would be the fancy British accent? I'm fancy British accent person. But higher pitched. Ooh, in his palms he held, yes, a pistol. Ooh. Like even his lips are all pursed in. Ooh, fancy lad. Oh, in his hands he held, yes, a pistol. It was pointed at the man pulling the stand. God, he's so fancy. Oh, tossing the pistol aside, he fled from the scene. Jesus. The level of fans. Hmm, think like a royal. Oh, I'm a royal. I am terrible at accents. Anyways. He said that a man tossed aside a pistol. But it turned out he wasn't sure. And sure enough, there was a contradiction. Well, that's true, but how does that help us? Didn't you notice anything? Whenever he made a statement he wasn't confident in, he displayed a certain habit. Hmm. Oh, okay. Who fancy. In his hands he held yes, a pistol. It was pointed at a man pulling at the stand. Ooh. You see, the very moment he said the word PISTOL, his fingers got all tense and fiddled with the corner of the page of his book. My god. How am I supposed to see that? Well, I could see it. How else did you think Daddy went... <laughs> think Daddy went seven years without losing a game of poker? Bah. My god. Oh, my god! I, I was always sat next to Daddy during big matches. Shoom shoom. Cards. I could see what his opponents were feeling. You mean, that's how Mr. Wright won all those games? Ooh, it's not cheating officially. I wasn't looking at their hands or anything. And I wasn't there all the time either. <laughs> Freaking daddy. Daddy's quite good at poker after all, but not good enough to go undefeated that long. Great. So, he cheated. But what does that do for us? I don't believe this. Anyways. Two, um... Ahem. You have to listen to his testimony one more time. No, scratch that. You have to watch his testimony. Perceive the truth. Watch a testimony. Perceive the truth. The only thing I'm perceiving is that I'm going to lose. Not true. Dude. Daddy said so. Ugh. He said that you have the power, Apollo. Mr. Wright said that? 
Watch my the testimony. Perceive the true feelings. Is she serious? Time's up! Sorry, I can't think of anything other than that one, now uh, Apollo. What was that? She said before the trial started? Pew 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 pew! Huh. Mr. Wright, not here today. He said his old foot injury was acting up. Yeah, he smiled when he said that you'd be fine as long as you're there, Trucy. Is this... Is this what he meant by us being fine? Well, methods aside, she did avoid one guilty verdict already today. Time to show the court what I'm made of. Get ready for justice! <laughs> Let's do it! Apollo! You know, I'm starting to think I can do this. I knew you could do this all along! Oh, one more thing! Ooh! Oh! Try to cover from Mr. Hat as best you can! I just flew in from the coast and bore my arms tired. <laughs> right! Oh, right. Sigh. This guy's too good, the hat. June 16, 11.40 a.m. Distant courtroom, number 4444. Man! Man! Court is back into session. <laughs> right, we're fine. Man! <laughs> But I'd like to go to say that the young lady standing next to you, Mr. Justice. Oh, you mean me? Don't you have anything to report? Or anything concerning the mysterious phantom in the silk top hat? Ah, right, him. Don't worry about him. I settled that. Bah, you settled that. Ah, uh, yeah. It was a out-of-court settlement, right? Oh, this guy is on fire. Listen how funny he is. Where's the... Ha! Perhaps Fraland would like, uh, would have us believe it was nothing more than a passing dream. Yeah, a fantastical illusion. Now you see. Now you don't have am I right? I think he's on to me. Mm, I wish I could stop being so, so cool. Ha! Let us dispense with these niceties and get straight to the matter it's at hand. Ha! What is your plans to, for our gifted witness? Right. The defense would like a request another cross-examination because... because I forgot to ask something. Bruh! There was no issue with the witness and previous testimony. I will grant your request. However, but this court will not permit stalling for time. Understood, your honor. Don't forget, Apollo. Oh, frick. When he isn't sure about something, he has a habit of fiddling with his book. Hmm. He could not prevent it. See, that's truth. He's not messing with the book. Or could he simply leave the scene? He could... See, this is true. Messing with book. This is the book part. See, he's messing with the book right here. Until the police arrive at the scene. Not messing with the book. Hmm. I'm not sure I'm qualified to watch testimonies after all. Focus, Apollo. Find his weak spots. Hmm. Focus? If only it was that easy. My ear heard what he says, my eyes see his expression. Do I have to do something more? What are the senses do I have? What's this? My bracelet! I've never seen this bracelet before. This is brand new. What's going on? My bracelet feels different somehow. I think Daddy was right! God, why do I have to say Daddy so much? You can see it, can't you, Apollo? You're almost there! Find the weak spot in his testimony! Hmm, I know this sounds crazy, but my bracelet's trying to tell me something. Kill her. Kill. Oh, Frick. That's a bad bracelet. Okay. Man, see, man. I'm not sure if I need to view the other screen, so I will view the other screen in case I need to see the other screen. Yeah, I'm gonna have to press it. Whoa, 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 hold the phone there, Bella. So, you called the media after witnessing a murder. 
Oh, Ooh, the police undoubtedly have a record of the call. Why not check with them? <laughs> Wait, Apollo! This has to be it! Wait, you mean his habit? Don't forget, Apollo. When he isn't sure about something, he has a habit of fiddling with his book! Hmm. The only time he even had the book open was here. Which means it's the place I'd look for that habit. I don't know how I know, but I know! Know what? It's my bracelet. It's different somehow. It's shocking me and it hurts. I can feel it reacting to something about the witness. Your bracelet? I'm not sure. I get this focus stuff that you're talking about, Trucy. But I have a feeling that trusting my bracelet is the way to go. Okay, I just need to touch my bracelet and react to the testimony. Looks like I'm gonna have to do some double screening. <gasps> What's going on? I can see the witness's face. His expression so clearly, it's filling my mind. I can see nothing else. Here, nothing else. Apollo! <laughs> Trucy, what's happening to me? This is what I meant by focusing. Focusing. Oh, focusing. In this state, you can see everything, Apollo. Everything the witness does. That's great, but this is kind of freaking me out. Just look for Mr. Stickler's twitch. His habit, you remember it, right? Yeah, sure. When he says something that he's not sure of, he fiddles with the pages of his book. You got it! Right now, you're looking at the witness's face! Hmm. I sort of bugging me out. Bugging. <laughs> the eyes sort of bugging out. Ooh, I bet they are. First, move your focus to attention. Show Mr. Stickler's hand. Okay. His hand? You know what to look for now. You have to be looking at the right place. He's right. I can only see his face like this. Time to try changing my point of view. Oh, god damn you. Perfect, now you're really ready. Ready for what? Ready to perceive the truth behind the twitch. Perceive. Try listening to the witness talk as you focus. Okay, I'm listening. Then watch for his habit. Right. You mean that he fiddles with the page. That's right, you are at the use signal to look closer to perceive. Find his weak spot and I guarantee you'll be able to give him the royal flush! Hmm. Spoken like a true Pokerhead's daughter. I'm a magician, thank you very much! So I have to pay attention to his words. And his fingers. Don't worry, if you miss it, you can always try again! Hmm, right. Look out, nervous Twitch, here comes just. Here we go. I used my cell phone. Wait, how do I go back? No wiggle? Oh, you're wiggling! Gotcha. You better- Anyone that wiggles on- Not on my watch! Hmm. I saw it. Just now. I could see it. Mm-mm-mm. Ah. Quality streaming. <sighs> this is why I have ones of fans. <laughs> Mr. Johnson, did you have something to say? Ooh, all this banging of gas gets quite bad for my gout circulation, you know. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Stickler, allow me to ask you a simple question. Why did you fill with the page of your book just now? The very moment I mentioned your cell phone. What are you talking about? I'm curious now about your cell phone of yours. Eh? Mind if I ask a few questions? Hmm, what to ask, what to ask?
Mrs. Nicola, please show me your cell phone. Who? What's your for? Show me. You'll find out. Ooh. Well. Ooh, well, I can't. I don't have it, you see. You don't have it. Oh. Mr. Stickler. Is this your cell phone? You! Where'd you get it? Hmm. That's the phone from yes. Oh, that's the phone from yesterday. That's right. It's the phone from yesterday. Look, a cell phone. Someone dropped it beneath the tire. If the car moved, it would be crunched for sure. Hmm. Wonder if it belongs to the doctor here. How strange, Mr. Stickler. <sighs> Can you explain why your cell phone is sitting here in my hands at my very moment? Come here, wait a minute. What's going on with this? The cell phone we found yesterday in the Maractus Clinic garage. With the Maractus. Wow, that boy, the wicked lift. Ooh, ooh, that's impossible. Ooh. Mr. Stickler, you lied to the court, didn't you? Your cell phone is here. How could you have called the police? You. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, it's true. It didn't do it. That is why I can be said that I called the police from the public payphone. A payphone? So you did call on your cell phone after all? After, just after... Just where was the payphone located, Mr. Stickler? Oh, well, to indicate it with a stag dartingly high degree of accuracy. Oh, it was right around here. Back to away from the park. But, but why did you lie? Hmm, there can only be one reason. He didn't want the court to know he had lost his cell phone. Because it was found in the victim's garage. Ooh, what are you saying? Bah, Mr. Stickler. You broke into the Miraculous Clinic garage on the night of the murder. This cell phone tells all. Ooh, ooh, but that's ridiculous. That makes it sound like, like I snuck into this garage fellow to commit some sort of crime. And so I tried to come kill him. Bradley, well, Dr. Bractus was killed that night. Well, well yes, no, the butter on the line of reasoning has to against rules. Ooh. Yes, it's true, I lost my cell phone. But you can't prove that I lost it that night. Well, Mr. Justice, if the cell phone was dropped that night at the murder, it does raise considerable suspicion to the correct between them. Now's your chance, Apollo. Connect Mr. Stigler to the crime. Oh, he's already connected enough. I just have to prove it. Well, do I have a piece of evidence that can do the job? Can I prove the cell phone was dropped? <laughs> I can prove anything now forever because I can prove it. I am the best at everything forever. Of course I have evidence. Ha! I would like- I like your swagger, hair forehead! Hit it! The court will see the evidence, Mr. Justice, hit it! As they say. The evidence that proves the cell phone's dropped at the night of the murder is. Take that! you mirror! As it so happens, Dr. Maractus' car was in an accident. That took place the night of the murder. Oh, an accident. An accident. It happened a little after 9 p.m., just outside People Park, our murder scene. Dr. Maractus' car hit a pedestrian. Oh, what are you trying to say? From the absence of a mirror, it's clear the car was parked after the incident. Which means it was parked there after 9 p.m. on the night of the murder. If your cell phone had been dropped before the car parked in the garage, then it would have been crushed. Hence, after all, it was lying on the ground, right under the wheels. Oh, oh. Ergo, Mr. Stickler. 
The only time you could have dropped this into the garage was after 9 p.m. that night at the murder of the park. <laughs> got him. You got him? Mr. Stickler. You know what this means? You did break into the victim's garage that night. This is most like fucking Mr. Justice. <laughs> Are you na naming this the witness as a suspect being the murder of Pal Mercanus to Pal Mercatus? Oh, Maractus. Pal Maractus. Oh no, stop. This is too much. This can't be happening. But the prosecutor say something. Ha, huh, I suppose it's worth saying this. No connection has been found between Wesley Stickler and Pal Maractus. That is other than this. Your brother, I believe our testimony is will be most revelatory. This is the way is the way this prepared. Ooh, yes, Your Honor. I know that face. That's the face of guilt. I'm gonna eat this. Mmm. Uh-huh. Mmm. Hmm. Mm. Ah. Yes, but your cell phone was lying in the garage. Oh, yes, well, you see, I could see the model of myself and has a defect. It was giving to rolling. It's quite a pain when you drop it on one side of the road, you know. Ooh. <sighs> Looks like a normal cell phone to me. In any case, Mr. Justice, the cross examination, please. Hmm, that's funny. My brain just didn't react to that all, at all during the test money. It's nervous happy. It must not have been acting up. I didn't sense anything either, actually. Looks like you're on your own this time around. Right, no problem. I hope here comes justice. Okay. <laughs> Night. Supermarket. I must have dropped my cell phone on the way back. That's messing with the book. That's not messing with the book. That's messing with the book. And that's not messing with the book. It's habit and acting up, which means it isn't lying. Hmm. I was kind of relying on my braces to get me through this one. But he's pretty unsettled. The odds are high that you can get him something out of him. Hmm, I claim your eye. You're a gambler's daughter through and through. I'm a magician, thank you very much. Good. Okay, yes. Went to the supermarket. What evidence do I have? Is there a time related thing with these stupid like penny things? I think I'm gonna use this on something. Uh I have an idea. Am I right? This is happening clearly we have contradiction in the memory man! It does not. Okay, so I was wrong. Hmm. Okay. Hmm? Hmm. Yeah, hold on a sec here, guy. That's when you pass the front of the Miraculous Clinic? Ooh. What? Yes, that's correct. That was pretty suspicious. Pause there. 
Mr. Stickler, do you think you could be a bit more specific? Please show me exact route you took that night of the murder. Oh, of course! Okay. The supermarket's here along the main road. The way home from there I went deedly beedly doo. There it takes me past the miraculous clinic. This is probably when I dropped my cell phone. Yet, woe is I. I walked into unaware of my loss. Skibidi beep 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 and walk right into that faithful park. Hmm. Winning witnessed a crime. Okay. Which entrance did you enter the park from? Well, to be exact, one might say I went in from the entrance closest to the Miraculous Clinic. Ha! The same entrance our victim used. Did you notice anything else when you entered? Wheel marks from the noodle stand, for instance? I have no recollection of such a thing, no. Yet, though I might have missed the tracks, I could not have missed what happened next. I am a keen observer of the obvious, you might say. I saw the killer, victim stand, blah 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 blah. Okay. Hmm, this part of the testament is key, and I know it. Should I press him about the killer, the victim, or the noodle stand? Do you happen to remember the noodle stand? Quite well, yes. For a student of science, keen observation is a healthy curiosity of vital. I remember everything. I could even remember the sign. I believe it said... <laughs> noodle? Yes, that was it. Well, if you remember something quite well, you should have the while to tell us. Well, thank you for telling us that the noodle stand sells noodles. Very enlightening. Well, Mr. Justice. Hmm... What about that sign? Could I be important? So the sign of the noodle sign said, NOODLE! Here's the defense just obtained a vile piece of testimony! Bring it back! The noodle stand broth really is that delicious! I'll have to go sample the wares one of the days! I think that's what the... I believe to the testimony of what? Whatever sort of noodles the sand sells, it can't match the up to Ivy U's cafeteria. Some apply to the school merely to taste some of our smart noodles. Mm, I wouldn't mind a taste of that myself. And you're absolutely sure that the sign read noodle. Oh, why? Just last week my professor offered me this praise. Slap! At least you have a good eyesight, Stickler. You, I'll give you that. It read without a doubt, NOODLE. I see. What? What are you looking at me like that? It was a pity. I see your in your eyes. Ooh. Bonjour, said my sister. See, my mom's. That's mom. And Denise is. Bonjour, no. Hey, I'm Denise. I'm Bonjour, no. Right? Bonjour, no. Anyhow. Let's take a look at what the map, shall we? So. You're claiming that when you saw the sign that you were standing, stupid boop boop boop, there. Was it? Although, it would have been a bit hard to read the sign from that spot. Oh, you think so? Mr. Stickler, I'd like you to please take another look at the stand and to carefully read what the sign says. See, that sign actually states the name of the stand its owner. Uh, Eldoons. Uh, or Eldoons. Inconceivable. I'm certain it was definitely Noodle for sure positive. I'm afraid your professor was wrong about your eyesight. You have trash eyesight, kid. Huh. I wouldn't be so quick to jump to that conclusion. The sign was changed. That sign he saw changes everything. The witness says the sign said noodle because it was in a mirror because he was driving the car. The witness says the sign said noodle and he saw it right. So, 
Let me get this straight, fella. What you say is that there is one spot from which the sign looked like the said Mr. Stickler's claim. <gasps> what? What's your dress? Show us this spot. The witness actually viewed the stand from this location. How do I move it? It said he was here. I don't know. Is this the highway, maybe? Take that! That's a river. Okay, that's a river. Many thoughts, Prosecutor Gavin. What? It's my turn to chastise the upstarts, is it? Air forehead, recall that I told what you told the court. Yeah, the sign that says El Dunes, yeah. How would the witness standing where you would have indicated change anything? Ah, uh, I picked the wrong place. Did I pick the wrong place? Because maybe it would be. Witness was standing here on the opposite side. Obviously. How could you know that? When viewed from the south, the sign on the sand reads El Dunes as well as we know. However, observe the other side of the stand. Oh, the fly says noodle. Exactly. The name of the stand is split between the front and the back of the sign. Mrs. Stickler, you lied to the court. You witnessed the crime on the northern side of the park, not the south. This guy is... He just can't get his story straight. <clears throat> oh, you got me. Uh, so what? That, so what? What does it matter if he saw the killing from the north or the south side? It makes no difference at all. Oh, he's right. Oh, Jacob's here now. It's a party. Freaking Jacob's here. I'm gonna have to, have to bring out the applause. Yes, this is it. When Jacob joins, there's a big crowd freaking cheering like crazy. Sports! Oh, I got vaccinated today. I forgot to tell everyone. It's on the record now. Vaccinated. So if any crazy things happen, it was at 9.33 today. April 7th, 2021. I got vaccinated with the Pfizer vac vaccine. So, no side effects. Everything is feeling great. Um, and it's pretty sweet. I should put that in my stream title. This is a special back stream. More court, comma, just vaccinated. There we go. I'm now have to update that. Scoop. So. But yeah, I did. It was pretty good. Went there. They were just like, Ugh! and I was just like, ah, and then that was it. Anywho, that's enough of that. Enough praise for Jacob. So. Stickler is all like, Oh, he's right. Travel far enough to the south and you will end up going north. Viewed on a globe scale, directions are utterly without meaning. Actually, maybe he's right. What does it change? How it changes everything, Apollo. Oh, no. I'm a kid. It changes everything, Apollo. Trucy. Remember his testimony from before? No, to be honest, I'm a little scared of what where this is leading. Hmm. Okay. The killer and the victim are facing each other here. Mm. Then at the moment of the killer raised his weapon, Mr. Stickler shouts, Mercy! At which point the victim turns his head to look. And the killer fires his pistol. Pew pew pew. Oh yeah, he would have turned his head the other way. 
That's why the bullet hit him right in the temple. No contradictions, right? Right. But if Mr. Stickler was standing on the north side of the park, that reverses the whole scenario. Matrix. Completely! If Mr. Stickler shouts from where he is now, and the victim looks in his direction. Pew! Dead. X. The bullet would have been in his left temple. My god. In other words, something stand someone standing at point K couldn't shoot the victim at the right temple. It's impossible. Right. So now that we know that Mr. Stickler was standing on the northern side, that would look <laughs> that wound location takes on an entirely different meaning. Ha, uh, indeed. You're absolutely correct, Fraulein. Ah, what meaning? Ah, uh, her voice is hard to do forever. Jesus. <laughs> Only her itself. I hope she dies, so I no longer have to do her voice. That is my modest request to all games. Kill the female character so I don't have to voice them. <laughs> A modest request. Anyways. The entry wound was... The en <laughs> yeah, I'm a kid. Right? It's like, the entry wound... Was in the right side of the victim's head, correct? Well, the right side of the victim's head is north. North. But that's where the witness Wesley Snickler was sitting. Correct, so if I was standing to the north, then the only person here who could have shot the victim is the right temple was Mr. Stickler himself. <laughs> Order. Whoa, the apple didn't fall far from the tree here. She flipped the whole case on its head. Well, I was still figuring it out. Objection. Huh? Clarify one point for me if you would, her forehead. What now? Are you truly accusing this college student of murder? <sighs> well, I can't say exactly he looks innocent, but something still doesn't feel right. I just can't picture him as the real killer because he's such a freaking nerd, right? No, please. Look us out. I'm really a nice guy. Ooh. All my friends say so. Oh. Let's see what the defense has to say. Hmm. What are you going to do now, Justice? Should I accuse Mr. Stickler? I don't think Mr. Whatever, freaking. What's this? Good. Hmm, I don't think Wesley Stickler is killer, but he's not innocent either. His unusual silence tells me much. Mr. Stickler, you seem unusually quiet. Tell us why. Now. Ooh. The word confession isn't in my dictionary. Ha! Ow, forehead. Yeah, I'm afraid it falls into your uh, eulictic air stickler's silence, yeah. Wait, Mr. Justice, you did just say you were accusing the witness just now. For a crime other than murder. You reason from the court. Sears. Good, I know he's guilty of something, but the crime other than murder is there. Do I have evidence that shows the involvement in some other crime? Your evidence! The court's eyes are all open, Mr. Justice. Show us the evidence to point the witness involved in this crime. Hmm, something tells me this isn't one of those good silences. Something else says to say, Mr. Justice. Uh, one more chance, please. Really? That was wrong? Sucker! <laughs> I'm invincible! It's... Something like this, right? It's one of these. Why was it different? They're the same thing. I guess it's just using the wrong one at the wrong time. 
I hate game. Anyways, okay. The evidence is this. What is that? Wounds on the water. Hey, those are mine. Ooh. Ooh. So fancy, boy. Oh, don't look at me like that! Get out of my mind! Mr. Sticky. Well, I can't say something. Say this comes as a shock. Oh, it's not what it seems. By the thick or in serum, it's all... On the night of the murder, just past 9 p.m., a young girl catches a panty snatcher red-handed. Bravely, she chases him, but the snatcher flees. Apollo. And then he's all like, he hides himself in the whole other place in the Miraculous Clinic Garage. <laughs> huh. Incidentally. Hmm. These panties were found in the exhaust pipe of the car there. Presumably, he was trying to hide the evidence of his crime. Ergo. Well, you may not be a murderer. You're guilty of panty snatching in the degree of first degree. Please, hear me out. It's not what it looks like. This guy. It's exactly what it looks like. Murder, murder, murder! Mr. Stickler, you should be ashamed. Oh, it's not. What? It seems... <laughs> this guy's good. This guy's good. It's not what it seems. So, we are to understand that you were silent not because you were guilty of murder, but because you lacked the courage to admit your sin. Of the girl's undergarments. Oh, perhaps you are not aware of my school's name. It was really written I V. I stands for intelligent. V for valiant. C. Wait, wait, wait. Real point. I'm not done. Now I'm a major in the science department. And now, what does science teach if not curiosity? Yes, we have I V U science department are valiantly curious. No challenge is too daunting. And what greater challenge to science is a mystery? Come on, you're talking about the girl's panties here, nah? No, you don't understand. A mystery is unknown, and unknown is unacceptable. And my friends, when it comes to mysteries, those panties are the promised land. From the moment I first laid eyes on them, I compelled the investigate for science. A full side car tire would only be uh, the first mystery those panties reveal. What? A tire? Yes, that's how I do it. She pulled the tire out of those panties. But that's not all. First, there was a tire, then a stew pot, and a frozen chicken. One mystery after another. It was, it was magic. Oh, I remember now. He's one of the regulars in the audience at the Wonder Bar. Huh? You talking about my magical pansy trick? Man, you come here, what we here? Oh, I just don't understand. A broom from a pair of panties? It might be the very laws of physics. A broom and a frozen chicken. A broom and a frozen chicken, true sea god. Whatever happened to droves of, and bunnies? Or doves, Jesus, droves. Mr. Stickler, you saw the girls' panties to understand a magic trick. You say panties, but they are much more than... You say panties, but they're much more than that. For me, they are the object of serious study. Ha, I wonder. There had been a recent rash of panty snatches in the area. Were they all you? Ha, I am sorry, but I did it for science. Each time I sp spied a pair of panty floppy to fly, make the movie a pair that would hallucinate the mystery. Even that night she chastised me with the streets, I wept tears of joy. Perhaps it was under I now would seize the truth that my eyes are panties. Yet woe is I, for once again the lazy heart drive and blood to breathe through my hand. Brave you are! So, this leaves one more thing unexplained. Ha! You refer to the witnesses of the liar? Yeah? The witness is claiming he saw the crime from the cells, but in fact was in no us? Brave indeed. Would anyone care to explain why he lied about that? Ooh, be my guest, Herr Forehead, yeah. Me? Oh, did I not hear you correctly? Did you not say, Oh, do not accuse someone of witness of murder, yeah? <sighs> why then, did the witness lie about the location at the time of the shooting then, yeah? Or do you have no idea, stupid guy? The Paulo! It's something about the way this, uh, uh, the diagram's arranged right now. When you think about it, right near where Mr. Stickler was standing, isn't there a... The... the... freaking... Wait, 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 what do you say? 
Do you have any evidence to show why the witness lied in the location? I do. 100% have the evidence. And it's the other stupid freaking bloomers. It's like, ha 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 ha, this is funny, this game of my life. Because freaking Japan again, it's always Japan. I gotta go, take care, see you later, Dan. Oh, see ya, mom. Have a good time. Well, if my mom's leaving, I gotta give her some applause. Because my mom, the champ. Right? And I'm also starting to upload these to YouTube, so eventually you'll see this again. Hopefully. As I become internet famous. See, right now I'm modest, but I will forget everyone when I become famous and powerful. I want to become one of those terrible crap guys. That's like, man, I don't remember you guys. Man. Uh, unfortunately, probably won't. Well. <laughs> I could dream of that. Anyways, thanks for being here, Mom. See you later. Okay, back to the game. Uh oh. The evidence that shows why he lied is this. More punties! How many panties are you carrying in your pockets, Air Forehead? These are the last, honest. These are found at the trash can at the park. Look at the diagram. Hmm. We can see that the trash can is right next to where the witness stood. <laughs> Mr. Clark, you did it! Oh, alas, my failure as a scientist. I couldn't counter unravel the mysteries of the universe. I can't even unravel the panties. Great! So this panty of yours, handiwork as well. So, interesting. All that night, I was been chased, hounded into the miraculous clinic garage. Weeping in frustration, I was forced to abandon my purpose. Oh, don't you see how I felt? Wait, believe me, I'd rather not. I hid the garage for a short while, then abandoning the panties, I made my way home, skibidi bee boo to avoid the office of where the girl, I went towards the south entrance. <laughs> Thanks for the nice falsetto. <laughs> when I saw them hanging there, by the clothesline by the giant mansion. <sighs> a giant pair of panties. Mm, apparently he didn't know those bloomers belonged with the mob. I had them safe in my pockets, ready to take them home. When I stumbled upon a murder. Mm, the murder of Dr. Miraculous. Oh, I reported what I had seen, but I waited for the police to arrive. I got scared. What I had seen, then what if they searched me? That's when you dispose of the bloomers. Yes, it was a very bloat in the progress of science, but one that had to be that had to be born. Fast, really a fascinating, if disturbing tale. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I believe this brings today's proceeding to a close. And I'm more than pleased to dismiss this witness for the remainder of the trial. Ha! Uh, fun that saying, if I might. Yes! Prosecution Captain! Regardless of where, where, where we enter today, some vital points for me. Namely, that the defendant, Waki Kitaki, was at the scene of the crime, yeah? And he was pointing a weapon at the victim. Button forward sing! Waki Kitaki was a clear motive? Right, but indeed, the defendant Waki Kitaki is still the prime suspect of the case. The only suspect in fact, assuming that there was no other one else on the scene of the crime, yet a mystery remains. The location of the wound in the victim's right temple has yet to be explained. The court requests further investigation from both the defense and prosecution. Ha, yeah, baby, yeah. No problem. Wait, wait, well, this brings the trial of today to the close. Wait, court is now adjourned. Man, see, man. To be continued. Perfect. This is the spot to stop for the day. I actually might hit a second stream later because I want to break it up a little bit. Yay, saving. So this is where we're going to pick up, possibly later today, but also, I want to break these up so they go on YouTube, right? I'm going to be YouTube guy, 
<laughs> if you go on YouTube and look up Daniel McLean and see my face, you can uh, you can subscribe to it, and then and then if if you want to watch the vods, they'll be uploaded there. Anyways, so we're gonna end the stream here. Snap. Oh, Jacob's here. That means I can play my jingle. Where are you, my sweet, sweet jingle? Jacob plus Apollo Justice equals. I can't believe it. Where are you, my sweet? There you are. I've been uh, having this problem lately. Clients at the Dan Murder Finding it's, it's Company. It's, it's, it's Murder Finding Company. Yeah. I'll find it out. Someone got murdered or something. Really? You know what you're gonna do? Yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. I know a guy. I'm gonna get Dan on it. Too good, right? Ah. Too good. All right. So I might stream a little later. Or tomorrow. But we will finish it soon. And until that time, folks. <laughs> That's your face, Bill. Oh, by the way, guys, when would you like to do that? I would love to do some wrestling games. And then we can finally have face tattoo Bill lose to freaking clownable laughter. Okay. Also, this is gonna be weird because hypothetically, if someone's watching this in the future, that isn't the day I've been vaccinated, which is April 7th, 2021. Like, this is gonna be past me. And like, this might be one of the last times that if the vaccine did have a crazy effect, that I didn't have it. So this is like a historic moment. Whoa. It's kind of crazy to think about. Right? Isn't that kind of crazy? So if I get some sort of thing, it's today. And then it'll be archived forever for eternity. And also, hypothetically, I could go back and listen to me talking to this. So I should listen and leave a really cool message for future me. Okay, I'm... Uh, let me think. I gotta think of something. Very, very... Ooh! I'll, I'm gonna hit a few guitar notes. So, remember when you only knew a few guitar notes, Dan? Because in the future, you can do a lot more impressive stuff than this. Finally! Finally! Easter eggs! This is amazing. Remember, look, it seems it don't even sound that bad, but in the future, you'll be able to do even better than this, Dan. Wow. This is gonna be uploaded for future, and these are all the only ones you know, and, like, they're only at the end. Look at how simple it is. But I'm gonna be better than that in the future. That's freaking crazy. So I'll see you on YouTube, future me. This is the one that's the most meta, maybe. Weird that it's the fifth in the random series, but, you know, whatever. That's how it goes sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>